hey 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 traders traders yes traders welcome to the weekend analysis welcome to the weekend analysis weekend analysis so it is gold and it's mr asam again it is another weekend and actually i'm going to share market outlook market outlook for the coming week so it is just a projection of market move now from uh, 14th of august to 18th of august so it is just a five uh, days market move and actually um, I'm going to break down market into four different time frames but I'll be adding additional time frame because I have details on 30 minutes uh, or the one hour now 30 and one hour so I can provide the details of what is most likely to happen but my probable direction is mostly, mostly shared on four hour time frame so let me quickly start with the monthly time frame i do the top down analysis so now uh this is monthly chart this is monthly chart so uh now we've uh we find that now so we have this down now we have these two candles here the two month candle now they were uh moving sideways now in two month market was sideways now in monthly chart so now this month um, is just playing within that range. So we're looking forward maybe for uh, this monthly candle to move outside the range. So mostly I expect maybe this month um, price is going to move outside this uh, two monthly uh, range. So that's mostly possible. And turning on my wave counts and drawing, actually I'm still looking forward for triangle. So basically, uh, wave E of the triangle is going to be completed maybe now, now I don't know exactly uh, which month but actually uh, several months to come so uh, market is going to push down up to this level here so uh, deeper to, to 15 something there so possibly next year probably will be moving to those levels here so that is overall projection in monthly time, time frame but this month has opened powerfully uh, with the bearish momentum so it is moving around those levels where uh, market has been uh, ranging for two months consecutively so that's very powerful so i can do the level here so we'll see this level is very useful in lower time frames now you see uh, we have this level here where market has been ranging for several months so actually this level is very useful even in lower time frames and now this level has been holding true for uh, several years back so if i extend it let me go to the style extend to the left now yeah like this so you see now um price is moving to this level whereby you see now it was in 2020 uh price broken the level pushed above played below then played below tried to break above then in 2022 then pushed it below then again in 2023 price has broken and is moving above again so um as per my projection actually i'm looking forward for price to come again below the level is how it was doing now several months i mean several years back it was praying above and then it failed come below then it did pray above then come below so it is praying above then it is going to come below so that's my overall projection in monthly time frame so that is very powerful with my triangle idea. My triangle idea is very powerful. So quickly in weekly time frame, we have things to share there. So yeah, in weekly time frame, the triangle idea is still there, but actually uh, very specific now. Price has successfully broken the dynamic support. So we have this dynamic support where price was moving above several times. So this week has broken the level and it is powerfully uh, broken the level. So that's very, very, uh, very powerful. And at the same time now, as price is moving to, I mean, it's breaking this level. So it is moving toward that level I presented in the monthly time frame. So we can still be looking for reaction of price at this level here. So we'll be looking for a reaction of price at this level. So yeah, that's super powerful. And now, uh, what I'm looking forward in weekly time frame, what I'm looking forward in weekly time frame, uh, price is going to retest the broken uh, uh, dynamic support. So it's most likely to retest the broken dynamic support. So we're mostly looking for uh, some push to the upside um, on opening of the market now next week. 
a push to the upside but now this push to the upside may now that is possibly now it may continue pushing up beyond this level uh, mini retest or sometimes it may retest and continue to the downside so all of those two things are possible but remember we have some buys uh, specifically from opening of the market on monday to either retest the level or to continue pushing to the upside that's very very powerful and this will be relating to the idea of bouncing to this level down here so the level i have presented here so price may bounce here then the retest and other things will go on let me go to daily time frame and before i highlight key areas on daily time frame i can possibly um highlight the news now so basically make sure that you watch analysis from other traders now who do the fundamental analysis i only do the technical so even me i watch analysis from the fundamentalist at least to see if i'm going to align with what they expect so now basically from monday now 14th of august we will be having medium impact news and there are a lot of news this week so mostly price will be moving very fast very fast almost all over the week you see that we have a lot of news even though they are the medium impact but actually price is going to move very fast this week due to uh impact of those news we have very few high impact but the medium impact sometimes they uh always influence now the uh, movement of price so let's expect a powerful move this week and then it will be very 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 productive if you'll be going you'll be aligning with those news now so if it is nearby so and you're in a bar so actually you'll be profiting from those uh push triggered by the news so quickly in a daily time frame in daily time frame in daily time frame so in daily time frame the dynamic support has been broken as usual so that's very very powerful and actually uh based on my uh what to call the um wave counts now this push to the upside was just something like an a so currently it's moving to b so we are looking for c to the upside that's why i was i was saying that um when the price next week is going to retest this thing here so when the price is going to retest the broken level here so it may retest up to this level then continue to the downside that is possible but it also may hit the level and continue to the upside it may hit the level and continue to the upside in the completion of wave c uh, to the upside is how i have presented here so that is also possible next week so mostly now let me provide the specifications here so mostly next week what we are going to do is we have to watch price moving to this level now around 1931 so mostly let us expect it to trade up to around 1931 or even around those levels now so mostly after price has hit the level so we'll be looking for the formation so until the price is hitting the 1931 level so we'll be already aware of the formation of either this movement to the upside is corrective or it is just an impassive move and when the price is pushing beyond 1931 is when now we'll be already looking for continuation to the upside so that is very powerful let's watch the 1931 from this level and actually um, why i'm looking for buy from this area because now this movement to the downside it was correcting this based on my idea so it is currently uh moving around 19 i mean around 78 percent fib so 78 percent fib is the most potential area for price to to continue to the primary direction so i'm mostly looking for price to continue from here to the upside and actually at this time frame we have this level here so it is most likely to turn at this level but if you go to weekly and monthly time frame this level can be too broad now the level can be too broad like this so uh yeah that is possible now so price is still possible uh to continue now to continue playing within this region but later will he now it will bounce to the upside so that's also possible it may continue playing around this region without breaking and then it will come to the upside so that is possible but 
in this time frame, I can highlight that uh, market may turn immediately from here. But based on higher time frame, it may still continue playing around this region and then it will bounce to the upside. So be watchful. That is powerful, 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 powerful. And now moving to four hour time frame now quickly. Now in four hour time frame, we can see details of the market. So it is too deep now. So for those who do LO2, at least we can communicate well here. So basically I have highlighted the ABC to the upside now. So we are completing with B to the downside. And now with B has got an ABC to the downside and can, currently we're in completion of wave C now whereby wave C has taken a diagonal now. It has uh, taken a um, diagonal formation. So now you see those two channels. You see those two channels. They are very, very clear. So currently I expect that uh, price has already completed the move to the downside. If there will be some movement to the downside next week, I expect now price may just touch this lower channel. And then once the price is outside this channel, once price has closed outside this channel, we are up, guys. We are up once price is outside this channel, then we'll continue. So we'll be looking for break and retest to the upper channel, and then we'll continue to the upside. So this is my projection for next week. Now watch for push the downside, maybe possibly, then outside the channel, retest, then boom to the upside. Now I can do addition of what we call the H1 and 30 minutes to show that we are possibly going to turn from here, right from here. We may not have additional movement to the downside. So I can do highlight of both things in 30 and one hour. So quickly in 30, let me go straight to 30 minutes time frame. So in 30 minutes time frame is a very lower time frame. So you can find that now. Uh, price hitted the level here. Now price hitted the level here. So this now was marking completion of movement to the downside. So from there, when it was moving to the upside, it was just the beginning of uh, impasse to the upside. So it was just an one, a one, two, three, four, five to the upside. So the current move to the downside is just in a corrective. So we have an ABC to the downside. And WebC has already completed. And if you run the Fibonacci retracement, uh, you will find that now price is around 78%, another key level. So 78%. So we are looking for price to continue to the upside. So mostly on Monday, I expect to see price breaking the upper channel, retesting, then boom to the upside. So that is most likely to happen on Monday. So guys, that is an overall projection on gold. So be watchful. Mostly we are looking for boom to the upside, but price may do other things now with this region. Praying. Now it may play with this region and then later it's going to break uh, the upper channel. So possibly, now I mean, now important thing is just watch for break of, a brick and close it's not only brick you see if it was just a brick you see here price is broken the level but it wasn't closed above the level so most likely recommend you to look for the brick and the close above this level brick and the close above the level then we'll be looking for the retest and the continuation to the upside that is powerful that is powerful that is powerful that is powerful and so from there Okay, I hope uh, the analysis is clear. So if you'll be having any addition, any suggestion, make sure that you put in a comment section. And if you think now this video is useful, make sure that you put a thumb up button. And if you have any addition to what I've shared, uh, you can just add in a comment section. And I recommend uh, you watching analysis from other traders because I do the same thing. I watch analysis from other traders. And if it's just your first time visiting this channel, make sure that you subscribe. You hit the subscribe button because actually these analysis are dropped every weekend. It is just more than three years now. The analysis have been dropped and they uh, they deliver positive uh, results to traders. So make sure that you subscribe and also have educational content. So thank you for your time and have a powerful weekend.